the Don't Talk to Robots. This is a video response. Top five best bargain cards for Reindeer Studios. Scott over at Reindeer Studios is celebrating with a little video response giveaway. And so this is our video response back to him with our best bargain cards. This is not a bargain card. This is a pretty sweet card. And I'm glad that I have this in my PC. Our Lego minifigure from this episode is kind of a hodgepodge. I put together some different elements from different minifigures to make uh, the Scott appropriate minifigure. He's got a nice salt and pepper beard there, got the Cleveland Guardians hat, and of course his paintbrush and palette to do some artwork with. And a little spoiler, it's actually the head of Harry Potter. So there you go. He's wearing glasses, that's why. That's why I chose Harry Potter. So there is our little custom minifigure for this episode. Before we get into my best bargain cards, we are gonna clear the deck here. In honor of Scott, we are gonna add our own little custom field, except our custom field is a Lego plate, but it still looks like looks like a little field there. So my first bargain card I got in an auction, and this was an online auction because when I started back collecting, we were in lockdown with COVID. So I haven't done a ton of going through bargain bins, but I thought this was a pretty sweet deal. So up number five, we have this Michael Jordan Upper Deck 1992 SP1. I got this in an online auction for $12. And I feel like this is a pretty good deal. Obviously not, you know, it would have been better if it was under $12, but pretty good deal. This card is kind of all over the place on eBay, but for 12 bucks, Getting the sweet card with the old school White Sox logo, uh, upper deck. Really glad to have this in my PC. So that is number five. Up next, this is a lot that I also got in an online auction. This was $15. It's a Trent Grisham rookie card lot. So we have rookie card of Gypsy Queen. Nice one there. Rookie card in Bowman. We have his Brewers base rookie card. Yes, I misspelled bargain. I'm gonna stop trying to cover it up. I admit it, I misspelled something. Haven't you misspelled something at some point? And then I just realized that this one is the chrome with the pod rays, but this is the, oh yeah, you can see it. You can see it, that's right, it's a refractor. So we have the refractor, chrome, and what I thought was, you know, I love the fact that they just straight up photoshopped the Padres jersey from this photo. But as I was looking through these other cards, I'm pretty sure that all of these were in his Brewers uniform and they photoshopped these as well. I don't know if you can tell, but like, just doesn't quite look authentic. It looks like there was a little bit of retouching there. So I imagine these might all be in Brewers uniforms with painted on Padres unis. And you're like, Doug, that's not that great of a deal. But the last card in that lot was this sweet Trent Grisham rookie auto from Stadium Club. And you can definitely tell, I, I was looking at this one today too. Definitely tell there's a little bit of Photoshop going on with that photo. But to get a rookie card auto position player and all of the rest of these rookie cards for 15 bucks, I thought that was a pretty good deal. Here are some that I got at my local LCS and I've shown these on older videos, but I thought this was a pretty sweet deal. So coming in at number three, we have Ken Griffey Jr., Ryan Sandberg, all-star MVPs from 1991. And we have the Ryan Sandberg and Ken Griffey Jr. I got all these for a quarter a piece. They might not even be worth a quarter a piece, but just the fact that I was able to find these cards. I'd never seen these cards before. The fact that I've got a card with two of the players that I PC on it, I always like getting these ones. So that was just a fun pickup and that's why I added these in my best bargain pickups. We'll put those over there. Number two, now this one also people might say, Doug, this isn't that great of a deal, but we have a Rack Pack 1989 tops. Here we got Ricky Horton, the infamous Billy Ripken, and Hall of Famer Andre Dawson. So pretty sweet getting an uh, 89 Rack Pack. You know my love for 89. Flying Dutchman cards, where is he at? Flying Dutchman cards, love of 1989 tops. So I got this for the measly price of $1. And you're like, Doug, that's, you know, it's only, it's a Rack Pack of 89 tops. There's probably 5 million of these. Not that great of a deal. Well. Let me show you the original price tag at 
Woodworth was $1.59. So if you do that math, I saved 59 cents off the original price. So I got a sweet bargain on that. So that is number two. And number one, I just showed this off at, I got this at the National. This was, I feel like my best bargain find there. I got this sweet Ken Griffey Jr. San Bernardino Spirit minor league card for a buck 50. I really like this card. I would have probably spent upwards of 10 plus dollars on this on eBay. That's how much they kind of go for eBay. So finding it for a buck 50 is great. And as RJ Collect Sets says, it does have Bellingham on the back. So you got to love that one as well. So those were my top five. I had one more honorable mention. And I've also shown this one off before, but this is a Daryl Strawberry Donruss 20 card. And I found this with my wife and I before I like officially gotten back into collecting. I found this one for a quarter in a quarter box. And this was one of the cards that got me back into collecting because I was like, oh, retired stars and Hall of Famers are still getting cards made today. That is pretty sweet. And that kind of scratched my itch and jump started me back into collecting. So this quarter card uh, kind of means a lot to me. So that is an honorable mention on my best bargain deals. Thank you, Scott, for this uh, BR opportunity and contest opportunity. If you're not subbed to Scott, go over and sub Scott. He's very close to 1,000 subscribers, has great pickup videos, great vintage cards, great artwork. He's doing his quest for the Holy Grail. Always a fun time, always good jokes. I should have had a bad joke on here, but I forgot. And I can't think of any off the top of my head. So go over to Scott's channel and he's got lots of jokes all the time. Make sure you support the community. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to rock and roll.